Royal Welling as only of the wheeled half of Ojaja Mall to Prince Tadenikawo and the Queen Naomi, my people. Allegedly, they said, Olo Ridiktok could not hold it. As in, this one, eh, he entered them so badly. Anyways, before we proceed, you're welcome back to my channel. I greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video. We are still on the gist from the Palace of Oni of Ife. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, turn on the notification bell, and share my video. Always remember, they are all alleged information, okay? So right now, they said, there is, oh, as in everyone is crying, shedding tears, as in they couldn't hold it. They said someone like uh, Olori TikTok that she got devastated, you know, and Antigbi she couldn't stand it. This is one day now you will hear that this lady go, went and, uh, and they hang herself because hmm, the way the thing they enter up, not be here, not be here. Just f last week we heard that uh, Olori Ebira and Ebira have been telling Kabiyesi that if you want me to leave the palace for with Naomi, you will have to give me half of for Jaja Mo for settlement and all of that they say kbsc did not do anything kbsc was preparing to give her the shock of her life you know and the, the person that uh, uh fight her back during that period happens to be dr elizabeth they said dr elizabeth was asking her oh you need a judge more is it as a woman that have the first son or what do you even have a child for kbsc you want to take kbsc's uh, uh property to your children the children that belongs to another man. Eh? Is that what you want? See, had it been is, uh, someone like uh, Olori TikTok that is saying this thing now, at least it will be understandable somehow. Uh -huh. But here you are saying KBC should give you half of a Jaja more. What do you... Hmm. They said uh, it was a serious altercation between uh, her and uh, Dr. Elizabeth that period. And even though KBC was listening to what they were saying, they said KBC did not utter a word. Not knowing that uh, KBSC was making a serious preparation. You know that KBSC is very smart. Do you know why I said he is smart? KBSC knows that he cannot trust these women. He is not safe around them. Uh, if you ask me, I will say that they are mistake on his side. <laughs> yes, so. Because the kind of attitude they are dishing out to him, I'm sure he never see it coming. Because if he knows that this is the kind of thing he will be facing from these women, he might not have married them at first. And right now, anything he is doing, he is doing it very wise and smart by making sure that most of his major enterprises goes to Costa de Nikawo's name. And he is very sure that at least Queen Naomi can be able to protect Tade Nikawo, you know? So they said almost all his investments, especially those major ones, goes to Tade Nikawo, Tade Nikawo, oil company, Tade Nikawo, every of his tangible business, the estate, Tade Nikawo. And this is something that has been a very big problem. But this Ojaja more, they said it was not in Tade Nikawo's name. I don't know what must have run through his mind. Maybe because of what uh, Olori Ebira said, or I don't know, I don't know. But right now, they said, only of you first summoned all the women. And... Uh, told them that from today henceforth, <laughs> they should bear in mind that half of that Ojaja more goes to Queen Naomi and Prince Tadenikawo. They said, eh, these people, they almost fainted. As in, they almost fainted because this is something they are not expecting at all. Because that one that is still uh, not in Tade's name, they were always going there. That is where they normally meet themselves, fight themselves, give themselves woto woto. Even though other people are still uh, shopping there, but they will always go there to disgrace themselves. Right now that it has been handed over to Queen Naomi, I'm sure some of them will limit how they they go to that place. Yes, so. <laughs> because they wouldn't want to be going there to be embarrassed because I'm sure there will be restrictions and the serious rules and regulation right there now because Queen Naomi know they do her own anyhow. Mm -hmm. Because these people were, eh, hmm, mm -mm. someone like uh, Olori TikTok that started fighting for her children's uh, properties when the children was just not up to one week itself. I wonder what will be her situation. This time around, you will hear that she fainted. <laughs> because the way she is dragging property for the children, eh, even though there have been stories upon stories 
upon stories concerning the children and why they have not been welcomed back to the palace. <laughs> KBC is wise. KBC, may you live long, my dear. You will live long. Go. Forget all this drama going on around you. You will overcome all of them. You know, sometimes in life, people make mistakes. And I believe that some of these women are the mistake you have made, but God is going to see you through. <laughs> they will not buy you. No, 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 they won't. As long as God is with you and uh, Queen Naomi and Prince Tadenika is involved, our God will always protect you and save you from every of their drama. Anytime, anything they come uh, with you, you'll always overcome all of them. So right now, Tade is the, the what would I call him? Mm. The youngest billionaire in the Leife Kingdom. No be smart, you know. <laughs> Some people will cry themselves for oh, because a lot of people have done a whole lot of things just to make sure that they have uh, children for KBS so that they will be able to partake in property sharing. So let me tell you, one thing I do know about KBS is KBS loves his children so much. Mm -hmm. And if at the end of the day, the twins belongs to him, he will not deny them anything. Just that they, that they will have more than them, but that is not to say that KBSC will not settle them. They will all be comfortable. But one thing is that uh, their mother don't want uh, them to be comfortable. They, their mother wants them to have more than Prince Tade Nikawu. Forgetting that Tade is the direct descendant of uh, KBSC, or how will I put it? The direct heir uh, 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 to KBSC's throne. Mm -hmm. Even if uh, he did not end up being a king in the Leife Kingdom, at least he will end up owing everything that his father owned and uh, maybe sharing with his siblings and all of that. So, but these people, they don't want it that way. They want it, they want it in a way that everything about Tade and Kenomi will be forgotten and shifted and uh, their own will take over. Because when, while she was pregnant or when we heard that she was pregnant, some people, uh, she was saying allegedly that... Um, her own son will be the heir apparent. And I was like, is she normal? Is everything okay with her? Or did the pregnancy enter her brain? <laughs> Guys, they say there is serious royal well in everywhere right now. It's not just for Molori TikTok. Oh. They say Auntie Bira, she couldn't believe it. She couldn't believe it because I'm, I'm sure she saw it coming. And that was why she was uh, yelling and... Uh, making noise, telling KBSC, give me this, give me that, because she knows that she cannot even inherit anything from KBSC, unless she's able to do her own and get a child for KBSC. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Tell me what you think about it on the comment section. I want to remind you that these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Subscribe to my channel, share my video, give my video a thumbs up. I love you guys for always being here. Thank you. Bye. Love you guys.